Hello, everybody, and welcome to our channel, Urban Subnet. Today, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT. So while you're here, please hit that subscribe button. That only takes a second. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get jump right into this uh, uh, video for you. So what we want to do is you, chat GPT, you can chat with an AI. So you're chatting with an AI computer. So that's a good thing. And what we want to do first before you can start chatting is you have to actually sign on or, or log in to or sign up for the uh, program. So if you haven't already signed up for the program, you want to go to chat.openai.com and you're going to go to that website and you're going to come to this screen right here. So if you haven't already signed up, you're going to click sign up first. It's going to ask you for your email address and some other information. It's going to send you a confirmation email. And it's going to set up some uh, login uh, settings for you as well. So it's going to get you all ready and set to go. And then it'll let you log in. So once you do the sign up, you click login. And it brings it brings you to your login screen. And then you if you like me already logged in before, it says welcome back. It has my uh, username there. I click continue. Then it goes to the password screen. I click continue once again. And then it brings me up to the default screen for a new chat. So a couple of quick things about chat GPT. There's some examples of what it can do. It, you can ask it almost anything. Uh, so this is just a quick example. Got a creative idea for a 10 year old's birthday. Hey, that's something a lot of people may ask. It has certain capabilities. It can remember what users said earlier in the conversation, which is good. And this is a learning uh, AI program, a learning language program. And then you have some limit limitations as well. Chat GP, this version of Chat GPT was launched in 2022. So uh, all of its knowledge was gathered on world events and events that took place and knowledge that it got entered into before 2022. So it says it has limited knowledge of world events after. 2021. So that's just a couple of things that uh, to let you know about it. And this screen comes up uh, as a default screen. So first thing I like to do is just say a quick hello. And then it will respond back to me. And it says, hello, how can I assist you today? So what we're going to do is something real quick here. We're going to First, we're going to ask ChatGPT for a chocolate ch cookie recipe. I tell you what, let's let's change this to chocolate chip cookie recipe. Everybody likes chocolate chip cookies, so we're gonna go. We're gonna copy and paste right into the AI. All right, so now I get a recipe that's being written up. Now the AI is actually writing the recipe for me from the knowledge that it learned about chocolate chip cookies and how to make them. So it gives me the ingredient list here and it gives me the instructions on how to make the cookies, okay? Now, let's see, I want to ask it a question and say, how many will this and let's just see what it says all right so this recipe typically yields about three to four dozen cookies okay so that's good so that's around 36 to 48 cookies. All right. So we have that. So what we want to do is we want to sell 300 cookies for a profit. Uh, so we're just going to challenge chat GBT to help us out with that. So I'm going to paste this statement here. Now, and I've been preparing for this. So I got some uh, questions already saved in my uh, Word document. But that's a good thing you can do is uh, think about what you want from chat GPT, write it down, 
or enter it in Word or Notepad, and then you can paste it right into the AI. So we're going to paste this right here, which is basically saying you're the CEO of a cookie company named My Cookie. My Cookie is using a chocolate cookie recipe to make 300 cookies. They want to sell the cookies in Charlotte, North Carolina, from a kiosk rental or on social media posts. Write a plan to reduce the cookies. Package of three cookies per pack, 100 packs of cookies, and budget of $700. I will attend all meetings and business transactions. We would like to clear 30% profit on this sale. So, hey, just a you know, simple business plan to sell 300 cookies, kind of like a, a, a pop-up cookie store or a you know um, quick restaurant uh, uh, put together. So what we're going to do is go ahead and press enter. All right, so it's telling me everything I need to do to get ready to sell the cookies. And I think these it's telling me about pricing and profit, sales and operation, financial management. And it gives you a little tip down here about uh, staying organized, monitor your budget closely and deliver high quality cookies to create a positive customer experience. Good luck with your venture as a sole employee of my cookie. Okay, so now that was just real easy and you got a lot of information to work with from here. So what I do at this point is I go down to Word and I open up a new document. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste what ChatGPT has told me to do. And let me see how much of this I can actually do um, here in real life. So let me go ahead and copy the cookie recipe. And I'm gonna just put that right here into this document. Okay, it looks a little spaced out. Yes, yes, and just a little housekeeping on this. All right, so that's a little bit better than next. The recipe we have was our CEO. Copy that. And that's going to be our business plan. And we're just going to paste that right. Okay, so now we have a recipe and we have a business starter plan. So this isn't a complete business plan, but it, it's something to get us going. And that's what chat GPT can do, get you started. And then from here, we can uh, dig deeper into some of the suggestions or some of the requirements to get the cookies going. So I just wanted to show that to you real quick. Uh, how easy it is to use ChatGBT to ask uh, just all sorts of questions like how how far away is the moon from Earth? That's a question maybe uh, somebody in the science class might want to know. And you just put it in here. And it tells you how far away the moon is. So this, this is a lot of information here. Just wanted to show you a quick sample. I'm going to look into getting that chocolate chip cookie thing going. And I'll keep you posted on how that goes. I want to thank you for viewing my video. And you have a good day.